Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby and welcome back to World of Tanks and it's Monday morning currently in the UK and I found out that I'm probably about to get fleeced for a lot of my currency this week as Wargaming are releasing a trading caravan, something brand new to add on to Under Their Hammer, which was brand new just a month ago. Maybe this is Wargaming's new grand monetization policy. I think that might be a bit of a bold claim. But one thing's for sure, over the next five days, you're going to be met with a whole host of tempting offers that you can access via your garage to be able to get a host of rare and exclusive tanks, at least one exclusive tank, and that is the brand new, at least with regards to the PC, the Kirovets one heavy tank with a black marble 2D style. In addition, a vehicle that I personally paid twin, oh, so, I, I can't even word today, obviously it's such a high price, 77 million credits for in last year's black market is also going to be available and this is not going to be for a bidding war, so I'm incredibly sad that I've only played the vehicle about 20, 30 times in the last year and it's cost me a lot of millions to be able to have that. But you're going to be able to possibly pick it up, I don't know what it's going to cost, over the next five days. So most of the information is available on the website, but Wargaming have released a video right at the top of the article, so maybe it is going to tell us more. So I thought we would watch it together. Once again, if you want to see this video, you should go and check it out on Wargaming's official YouTube channel so you don't have a potato like me the blocking up the screen. Of Malinovka. The hot sands of El Halouf. Oh, they're just wetting our appetite. And the picturesque waterfalls of Pearl River. These aren't the just caravan is ordinary tanks. These are sandblasted, water-wetted vehicles that are going to look absolutely special inside your garage. Is that is that the kind of the vibe that I'm getting? Swiftly making its way to you in World of Tanks. Trading Special caravan will become available in the game client during this event. So starting tomorrow you for five to days. The section with the items via the banner or the store tab. Everyone will find something useful for them there. There will be many interesting and valuable items available for credits, gold. A slow down. Uh, slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. So that that looks like to be a 2D tango style. Not heard of that one for a million credits as an example. This one is incredibly exciting. That is a G-Saw 1008 that's available for gold. I'm not sure if the G-Saw's ever been available for just pure gold. I know it's been sold at least over, over the Christmas period, but for pure gold for 9,300, that is a very deadly tier eight. Tank Destroyer, and still at least f f quite rare considering it was the the previous Christmas, i.e. Christmas 2020, which Wargaming called Holiday Ops 2021, very confusing, where it was available inside the loot crates. And bonds. Now this is a really interesting one. They're selling bond equipment for the first time, but they are selling it for bonds, which is fair. It's not like they're going to be selling it for gold, which would be absolutely outrageous because that would literally be completely pay to win. You know, fire faster for your premium currency that you have to fork out your cash for. For bonds, not such a big deal, I guess. Although it is kind of annoying to think that a lot of the things that you purchase for bonds in the game Maybe we're going to see a little bit of degradation with regards to their prices if you can manage to pick them up in events like this. Unique and rare vehicles. Such as the Kiravets 1 in the black marble style. So the Kiravets 1. Um, I'm spoilers. I'm going to have a full tank review for you tomorrow on it. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the channel tomorrow if you want to get my full complete overview. But for now, it does look surprisingly like a premium IS-3 with an angled front plate, which has reasonable statistics uh, from several years ago. Popular 2D and 3D styles. Everybody always asks Improved me about that Borsig style. Days of World of Tanks premium account. And no one really wants that. We've got a lot of that left Rental over from vehicles. Christmas. Rental vehicles? What are we gonna? What are they gonna do? Get us to pay for rental vehicles now? I guess if you're somebody who just wants to collect Ace Tankers, it's a, it's a pretty good deal. And much more. Much more. What like? Come on, spill the beans, Wargaming. Every new offer is selected random. Four Leaf Clover style, that's for the FV4202. Although it doesn't say that, although maybe it'll be available for other tanks as well. If it doesn't interest you, you can skip it. Oh, we have to, we have to roll to try and get good deals. SG-130PM, one of the most uh, sought after 
and prolific vehicles you're going to see on the battlefield available for 10,000 gold. That's kind of like a normal deal, Wargaming. Perhaps you'll like the next one more. Is that why we have to roll? You can skip three offers a day for free. Oh dear. And then what Each do we have to pay? Skip will cost 75,000 credits. Just at the time when I have no credits after buying, buying the whole of the Yo Heavy Tank Tech Tree and spending everything on equipment, I guess I'm going to have to sell some of the equipment that I bought at half price, even though I don't want to, to be able to afford the credits to be able to roll over the next five days. A cumulative discount applies to the majority of offers. What's this? Its size depends on how much players like a particular item. What? What's this? So it looks like you're going to be able to vote for a bundle, and if a lot of people vote for the bundle, then you're going to be able to get a discount on it of up to 25%. That's huge. Okay, that means that getting a Scorpion G, or should I say an SU-130PM, the Soviet Scorpion, for like 7,500 gold is way better than 10,000 gold. Interesting. Vote for the item to show you like it. The more players do it, the greater the discount will be. Hmm, interesting. Each player can vote for five different offers a day. At the same time, you can't vote for the same item twice. Why are you going to be trying to get all of your buddies? Please, ma, I don't have much gold left after Christmas. I've already spent it somehow on all my premium rounds that I find inside the Clan Wars. Please go and vote for the CS52 lease so I can be able to get it on a big discount. Is that what it's going to be like? Possibly. But you can save it to your favorites in order not to lose it while the discount is accumulated. When chasing a good price, keep in mind that the number of many items- Okay, so you have to add these offers as you spend 75,000 credits into the slot machine to be able to access more offers after you've already used your three rolls for the day, which are going to go in a heartbeat and you're probably going to get awful things. Then you have to save them to a shopping basket and then you have to wait for the whole of the server to be able to vote on it to be able to get discounts. Oh my, that's a convoluted system. Items is limited. Oh no. The number is limited, so you're going to have to decide when to buy it, depending on the discount that all of the server votes on. Oh my lord. Monitor the special bar in order not to miss the offers you want. How's that going to work with the, the new tank, the Kirovet 1? How is that going to work? Is it going to... Are they all going to disappear on day one? Is nobody going to be able to vote for them to be able to get the price down because everybody's going to instantly see it and have to, to purchase it? If any of you have looked at the black market event, uh, some of the rare tanks, even at 25,000 gold price tag, sell out in 30 seconds. So are people going to have to just keep chunking change? Uh, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of credits to be able to hope that you get the Kirovets on day one, if it's even going to be available on day one. I'm only theory crafting here and I've got to read the article before all of the bundles sell out. Scary stuff. At the end of the event, when the caravan is getting ready to hit the road, you will have time to purchase the saved offers. Well, that's good. And even vote for a discount for them. Because at least even on Amazon, if you manage to get something inside your shopping basket, you've at least got like about 10-15 minutes to be able to purchase it. I, I guess suddenly maybe your, your shopping basket is going to sell out if it's too popular for some of the better deals. But hurry up. The best items don't like to wait. Happy shopping, commanders. Okay, so I've got mixed feelings about this event already. So firstly, I think it's an opportunity. It's not like the prices are going to go up. The prices are only going to go down. So unlike the, uh, the under the hammer event that we just had, it's not as if you're going to have to be spending tens of thousands of gold or spending tens of millions of credits to be able to get the vehicles like I had to spend on the T22 medium in the black market. It looks as if this is going to be a better opportunity for the regular players who just want to get a good deal on a good tank, not for the whales who want to spend all of their currency on something that's incredibly rare. I'm sure that a lot of the whales out there, including myself, are going to be rather sad that the T22 medium tank is going to be available. However, we have no idea what it's going to be available for. Is it going to be available for bonds? Is it going to be available for credits? Is it going to be available for gold? Nevertheless, I bet you it's going to be sold for less than the 77 million credits that I spent on that vehicle. So it doesn't really look like Wargaming are actually giving us any better uh, ideas from their article than they really did in their video. I also just saw something important, and that is that if you can't vote for a 
bundle, then its price will remain unchanged until the end of the event. So if you if you like what you see, act fast while it lasts. So that suggests to me that maybe some of the extra rare things that will be available, you might not even be able to vote on them to be able to get a discount. Although I'm just guessing and theory crafting here. I expect that's probably going to be the case for the Kirovets 1. And if you see it, you should probably just get your hands on it immediately because undoubtedly something like the Kirovets 1 will go out instantly, as will the T22 medium tank. That vehicle will go out instantly. Everything else is going to be just fair game. And you're probably not going to have to dump your credits or anything on it quickly. But there's 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 two things in life, right? There's buyer's remorse, there's purchasing something at a high price and then seeing that it's available uh, later on at a smaller price or even you just feel like you've paid too much for something and the hype was uh, inflated and you're not actually enjoying it. And um, yeah, I, I definitely have buyer's remorse over the T22 with regards to that. And then also, as a lot of you out there who are trying to get things like Xboxes or PlayStation 5s or maybe even just a graphics card at a reasonable price, there's something even worse than buyer's remorse and that is probably having to wait for months and months and months for something that you really wanted to be available in stock because people are trying to scalp you. Luckily, it doesn't look like Wargaming are trying to scalp you, uh, or at least in, in, in what term, in, in a kind of a different term to how the uh, people who are fleecing graphics cards are. And I really have more questions than when I began. The event will be starting tomorrow at four o'clock and it's going to be ending on Sunday uh, just before midnight on Monday, at least with regards to the European servers. So one of my big questions, and I'd love it if somebody from Wargaming answered in the comments down below, I'd definitely pin it if that was the case, is Wargaming, are the vehicles that get released going to be different each day? Is there going to be a new stock of Kirovets that, for example, get released each day for the five-day event? And also, when is the new stock, if there is going to be new stock, going to be released each day. Because the first is going to start at four o'clock tomorrow, at least with regards to the European server, and will for each of the subsequent days, the same new amount of stock be released at four o'clock? Or is it going to be the case that everything's released on day one and there's going to be frantic re-rolling to try and get all of the offers that you want as quickly as possible? These are all really key details that Wargaming have not answered yet. And until I know the details, I can only guess at what's going to happen. Because if my fears are right and everything is going to be released on day one, then it's just going to be sold out and out and out with the idea of how a caravan would work. It's not like a caravan can just suddenly get more stock in. Then starting tomorrow, four o'clock on the European server and check your local times if you're on the uh, US or if you're on the Asia server, I reckon there is going to be an almighty zerg for trying to get the content that you want as quickly as possible. And you're gonna to have to have millions of credits to be able to shuffle unless you get lucky to be able to get what you want. And remember, you're not getting those credits back. So once again, to reiterate, starting tomorrow, the trading caravan will arrive. If you are a whale and you want to get your hands on the Kirovets or the T22 medium, I thoroughly recommend that you are online as soon as the server goes live and you aggressively roll until you find the offer that you want and you purchase it immediately. Because I expect that the, that the Kirovets, unless it's outrageously priced, and the T22 medium tank will sell out immediately. Because my fear is that there will not be new stock throughout the caravan event. So now that I've answered for all of the whales, for all of you out there who are really not too fussed about those tanks, what I'd recommend is that you just log in, use your free rolls, save all your best offers to the basket, and just keep an eye on them. Try and wait to pick up an actual bargain, which is probably what these kind of events are meant to be about. And who knows, maybe you'll be able to get an SU-130 PM or even a CS-52 lease for as low as 5,000 to 7,000 gold. And that would be a real good deal, something worthy of logging in for. Not like me to be a big whale jumping through hoops to be able to get the new content undoubtedly at inflated prices that is probably going to be available six months or a year later, although there's no guarantee of that at a significantly reduced price. And final, final, final word. Look in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen right now. Do you notice how the Bond equipment 
is actually able to get a discount. And so that could be a real good opportunity to be able to get a gun rammer, if, if that's the only one that's available, for up to a 25% discount on bonds. So for all of you players out there who just love to be hyper competitive, then you're probably going to be able to get yourself some improved equipment at a good discount as well. Although you might have to spend a lot of credits to re-rolling to be able to get it. And there's no guarantee that it's not going to sell out immediately. Although as we can see in the bottom right hand corner, that one doesn't actually have a bundles left. So maybe you'll be able to save it in your basket and wait and vote for it, hopefully as a community and wait for it to be at a 25% discount. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it was useful, got you prepared. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know what you think in the comments down below of this trading caravan event. Do you think it's better than the black market? Do you think it's better than the under the hammer? Because maybe it's going to actually allow the, the normal players to be able to get good discounts compared to just selling hyper rare tanks at inflated prices? Or do you feel that Wargaming are just absolutely milking the cow dry with just these constant events and new systems in place to try and create hype around sales? And Good luck to you if you're going to be able to try to take part in the trading caravan. And if you're watching this video as it's released on Monday, I'm going to be streaming all day. I've already got a T22 medium, so I'm probably going to be trying playing it out a lot. And once again, stay tuned to the channel tomorrow as I'm going to be releasing a full Kirvets tank review. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.